An interesting piece of news has surfaced over in the land of Dallas as the Fuel have made a deal with the LA Gladiators to have Paintbrush be transferred over to their team. The Dallas Fuel definitely did need a new main support in my opinion as Closer has been very hit or miss this season, but Paintbrush is not who I expected them to try and pursue to try and fill out their need at this position. With all of the options available to them out there, I don't think Paintbrush is the first guy that comes to mind for most people as to how Dallas could have improved this position. The so-called leaks or rumors or whatever you want to call them suggested that the Dallas Fuel were going for the main support player from Korean contenders known as Unique, but now that's looking more like it's going to fall through, I suppose, since they got Paintbrush. In a way, I can kind of understand why the Dallas Fuel would want to try and do something like this because, like I said, Closer hasn't exactly been spectacular this season, so it's worth trying something else. No disrespect to Closer, I think that mechanically he's a pretty good player, but the issue is he's so vastly inconsistent. Every single game, you have no idea what you're going to get with this guy. Like, he has had a couple of good games here and there. I think one in particular that stands out to me is when the Fuel lost to the Fusion in that close game. I thought he played very well and he did a great job of hiding for beat with those EMPs and everything. He looked good, but in a lot of other scenarios, like most recently against the San Francisco Shock, he looked really lost. I don't know if he's just been making silly mistakes or if he's having miscommunication issues or maybe a combination of those two things, but either way, he has not been the answer for the Dallas Fuel, and there's been times where he's been a problem for this team. They need a more consistent and better overall main support to lead this team. Decay and Doha have to do so much for this roster, so they need to try and release some of that pressure for them by surrounding them with better pieces. But can Paintbrush be that guy? I really do not know, because I haven't really seen him enough to get a good idea of how I think he stacks up against the rest of the main supports in the Overwatch League. So far, he's played, like, what, two maps against a series with Boston, that's pretty much it. That's his only Overwatch League experience on stage at least. I don't know for certain what he'll be capable of at the Overwatch League level, but what I do know is that according to some of the most recent rumors, Paintbrush did try out for a few different teams and he looked pretty good apparently. So it goes without saying that Dallas probably really loved what they saw from him in the tryouts they gave him. I'm sure it's hard for Paintbrush to start from scratch again just because he was really good friends with Space and probably a few other people on that Gladiators roster, but this is a a great opportunity for him to prove himself, and I think the Dallas Fuel might end up benefiting from that. A full Western support line may actually be the answer for Dallas. I'm thinking that maybe Closer and Crimzo just weren't getting along that well. They didn't really synergize too great together, along with some of the other mistakes Closer was making on his own, of course. Plugging Paintbrush into the lineup may lead to some more clean comms, which could result in everybody having better performances overall, especially the tanks and Crimzo. Given the circumstances, this move is a little strange for the Dallas Fuel to be making, but I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to stay positive and stay hopeful even for them. And if you're a Dallas fan, I recommend you do the same. Give this guy a chance. You never know what he could end up being capable of. I personally never really got to watch him much, but a lot of people tell me that he was a pretty good player in contenders and that he definitely deserved a contract this year. And because he's played so little, his potential has yet to be determined. Listen, he's played two maps in one set. That isn't really much to be judging off of. So I say we all give him a chance and see what he's capable of. For all we know, he could blow us out of the water in terms of expectations, both in the good way and the bad way, I suppose. Either way, I'm not really sure what to think of all of this yet. I'm still processing all of it because it is a little surprising to me, even if it does kind of make sense. This is a great opportunity for Paintbrush to prove himself finally. He doesn't have to play behind Big Goose anymore. He has the chance to really be a quality starter in this league. And if the rumors of him popping off in tryouts are true, then maybe there's a bright future ahead for this guy, as well as the Dallas Fuel as a whole. Hopefully we see him play right away this upcoming weekend when regular season play resumes, but if not, hopefully he gets to play sooner rather than later. Other than that, that's pretty much everything I have to say, so overall, this is a very interesting move made by the Dallas Fuel. If you're a Dallas fan, let me know what you think of all of this down in the comment section. I want to hear your input. And of course, if you enjoyed this short news video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things Overwatch League. And of course, as always, thanks so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, this is ATP, signing out. Peace.